everybody, my name is Nico D. Today I'm going to show you about the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. I am going to compare it with the normal Raspberry Pi 3B. I am going to overclock it. I am going to do some benchmarks and I am going also going to compare it with the Oldroid C2 and with the Tinker boards. Um, so first let's go to the specifications. Here you can see what's new, so now it's dual channel Wi-Fi at 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. The CPU is now clocked at 1.4 GHz. There is power management now and there is Gigabit Ethernet, although it is over USB 2, so it's only 300 megabits per second. And there will be power on over LAN, but uh, it's not available right now. So now let's see how they compare in a real life test. I use the BMW Blender benchmark for this at 720p. This because it tests the stability of uh, the system very well if it's overclocked. So uh, it takes 2 hours 42 minutes and 22 seconds with the standard uh, Raspberry Pi 3B. And if we go to the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus we see it does it in 2 hours and 16 minutes and 44 seconds. So the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is already 25 uh, minutes faster than the Raspberry Pi 3B. Now let's see how well it overclocks. So these are the settings I used uh, with the maximum overclock I could do. So uh, it's uh, 1570 megahertz with an over voltage of 4. The core frequency and GPU frequency is 500 and the SD RAM frequency is 510. I couldn't go higher uh, than this. If I went to 1575 with an over voltage of 5 even it crashed uh, Blender only after one hour or so but uh, that shows that it isn't uh, stable enough. Also with the SD RAM frequency if I went to 515 even when I uh, used SD RAM over voltage uh, it's uh, crashed Blender after an hour or so so uh, this is the maximum I could get out of it uh, and still being uh, stable. So what's the results? The result is 1 hour and 55 minutes and 15 seconds. So this is again almost uh, 20 minutes faster than uh, the default settings. How fast does it boot? So here you can follow. It does it very fast. Uh, the default settings and overclock settings all do the same. It's maybe a half second uh, difference. So let's wait and here it is. So 17 and a half seconds. That's very fast. As you can see here the power consumption of the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is a bit higher than the Raspberry Pi 3B. Uh, with default settings uh, and no loads it's uh, about 200 milliamps more and uh, at max load it's uh, about 350 milliamps more. When we go to the overclocked uh, settings the, uh, no loads are always uh, the same as uh, the default settings but uh, the max load of course is uh, about 250 milliamps more than the default settings uh, at uh, 1550 megahertz. And uh, overclocked to the max, it's uh, about 30 milliamps more. Now let's see how well it compares with the Oldroid C2 and the Tinkerboard. So here uh, the Oldroid C2 does it in 47 minutes and 16 seconds. This is twice as fast as the Raspberry Pi. And the Tinkerboard does it in 1 hour and 7 minutes. Uh, these are a lot faster just because of the RAM. The RAM on the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus is still uh, DDR2 and uh, the RAM on these is uh, DDR3 so it's uh, twice as fast as uh, the RAM of the Raspberry Pi. So that's really a shortcoming of a uh, Raspberry Pi. They should have upgraded the RAM also. So my conclusion about the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. It is faster than the Raspberry Pi 3B, of course, but if we compare it with the Oldroid C2 or with the Tinkerboard, it doesn't compare, it's no match. They should have upgraded the RAM also, it's still DDR2 and 1GB of RAM compared with the 2GB of RAM and DDR3 of the others. Um, the CPU is a lot better than the Raspberry Pi 3B. 
Uh, the heat dissipation is way better, even overclocked, it doesn't uh, overheat too fast, so that's a good thing. Uh, the Wi-Fi is better and also the Ethernet has been upgraded, that was something that was very necessary, but they forgot about the RAM. And uh, that's maybe a very bad thing about it. They sh maybe should have uh, brought out a new uh, Raspberry Pi 4 instead of this uh, Plus. Um, for next week I am going to make a new video about the ROG64 or maybe in two weeks. Uh, I also have made a video about uh, how to build a robot trike. Please watch that and uh, like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.